Good morning! It's time for another phonics sound. And today we are going to learn another digraph. Mm. You can tell me what a digraph is. How many letters do we have to make up a digraph? Two. Well done if you said two. You are right. So we need two letters to make up one sound. And our sound today is... You see my tongue sticks out a little bit. My turn. Your turn. Is it a bouncy sound or is it a stretchy sound? It's a stretchy sound, isn't it? It goes on and on and on. Ready? My turn. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. Super duper. Now, we are going to have a look at what our sound looks like. So this is what our sound looks like. It is made up of a t and a h. You're right. T and a h. And these special friends, when they stand together, they make a th sound. Now, we're going to try and remember that by learning our little rhyme that goes with it. So... Here we go. Here is our tower and here is our horse. And the princess at the top of the tower gets rescued by the horse. Do you know what she says to the horse? She says, thank you. Thank you. Your turn. Thank you. Well done. As our sound at the beginning. Thank you. Brilliant. So that's how we can remember our th sound because the horse rescues the princess and the princess says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Brilliant. Now we have learnt how to read it and we have learnt how to say it. So next we're going to practice writing it. Now, for this, you are going to need a pencil or a pen and some paper or a whiteboard. Mrs. Lakeman's got a whiteboard today and I am going to be very careful when I take my lid off because I don't want to lose it. Why don't I want to lose it? What will happen if I lose my pen? Tell your grown-up what's going to happen. So, I am going to put... Where am I going to put my lid so I don't lose it? I am going to put it on the end of my pen and then it's safe and I won't lose it, will I? Brilliant. Okay, so we are going to do our practice of writing and we're going to do down the tower, across the tower and then down the horse and over his back. Beautiful. Who can do that? Let's practice that again. Down the tower, across the tower, make sure we've got a nice tall t, and then a nice tall stick for our If we only do a little stick, it doesn't look like a ha, huh, does it? It looks like a, mm, it looks like a n, mm, doesn't it? N mm, for knobby. So we need a nice tall stick. <sighs> so let's practice. You practice writing that a few times and then you can decide, have a look at them, see which one is your favourite. Which one's your favourite and give it a little tick. Brilliant. Now we're going to put those let that sound into some words. We're going to write some real words now. So, first, before we can write them, we need to be able to read them. So, we haven't got Fred today, so you're going to have to help me do this. Are you ready? F-I-N. F-I-N. 
Finn. 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 Well done, Finn. Next one. Ick. 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 Thick. Well done, thick. You might have spotted that there's another digraph in here. There's one here, look. And there's another one here. This is that tricky one where two k, k, k kickinga and curlica, curlica and kickinga, make just one k sound. So if they're both together, they still make a k sound. Ick. Well done. <gasps> what about this? Ooh, Mrs. Layman just gave you a clue. Ick. This. Well done. Let's practice writing this. Okay. So you need your pen again, or your pencil and your paper. Lid on the end. And we're going to do down the tower, across the tower, down the horse. Make sure you go straight up the line, back up onto the line, and over the horse's uh, back. That's our sound. And then we're going to do an it for insect, aren't we? 